What's going on? This is Maverick Save in the Mercury Building, and you can catch my interview. Go watch it on Amru Don TV. It is what it is. I did it in one. In terms of interviews, I mean, like, as an artist, I mean, do you have to be media trained? I mean, how do you find it having to do? No, I never. I think people when I first signed, everyone was like, oh worried about what I was going to be like in interviews, but I've never been media, I don't need to be media trained, I mean, I, I quite like talking, you know, because I think with interviews, it's, it's the chance to be able to, to talk about my music, so I need to get myself, for me personally, I need to uh, express myself in the right way and put myself across in the right way so that people will give my music a chance, because I think if people sometimes see me before they hear the music, um, they get a, a, people are going to stereotype, they get a certain look, they generalise, you know what I mean, and think, oh, I'm, Whatever, whatever. So I just want, I need to put myself across in a good way, you know. Your voice, I mean, the sound, like I'm saying, if someone sees you and then they hate you, mm, mm, mm. they're not going to be able to, they're not going to think it's come from the same person. So no, of course. Tell me a bit about the influences musically that you had growing up. Um, okay, well, the first song that ever got me into music was Stand By Me. Um, and that was when I was about eight or nine. But my dad, is, my dad's a musician and has always been a musician. Um, so from young, I went to his his band rehearsals. Um, sorry, um, I went to his band band rehearsals, his gigs, and he did like a mix between like um, southern American blues, uh, early rock and roll, traditional Irish music. So there was a big influence of that growing up, you know. Instead of him playing nursery rhymes to me at night, he would literally come in and do full acoustic sets from. Bob Dylan songs, the soul songs, Ray Charles, you know what I mean, Fat Stomach, you know, low everything. We just come in and just sit for hours. I loved it, you know, I get him to play the poor lad, I got I got him to play for hours, like to make me fall asleep, you know. Um, so there was a big influence of that. And then when I was in my early teens, I got into hip hop, mainly through my sister. To be honest, I think I, I, I got into English stuff like Soul Solid before I even got into the American stuff. And then I heard a Someone played me, it's going to sound real Irish, someone played me a, a two-pack tape in a shed in, a, in, in one of their back gardens in, in Ireland. And someone, a friend of mine's older brother, played me a two-pack tape and I fell in love with hip-hop. Like, I fell in love with two-packs music, you know. Um, and then I'm a massive fan of Dizzy. Dizzy was a big influence on me. And then I got more into, I got back more into like Bob Marley, Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash got into reggae, got into folk music again, got back into more soul, but all the time keeping up with hip hop, because I think hip hop is the kind of base genre for me that I always love, hip hop, grime, you know, and everything that's connected with that. So I just always had a big, big, big mad influence. And I think for me, musically, when people say, oh, where'd you get your sound from and stuff? I think it's just a sponge of all, I've sponged everything in. And it's a mad mix of all that. Cause people say, oh, I hear reggae in your voice. I hear like, a bit of soul. I hear hip hop in your flow. And it's just basically a mad mix of everything, you know? And that's interesting. Cause like saying, it does seem like you've put everything yeah. together. Now I've been aware of you musically for about three years. Okay. So, you know, so tell me, getting signed, tell me how the process was of you getting signed because you were an artist who was known to quite a few people before. Yeah. So, Tell me about that process from then to now. Um, I think it was just <clears throat> a lot of hard work. Um, between me and my manager, we did a lot of graft. You know, I've been with my manager for about, I think, about two years, maybe a bit more. And I did a lot of graft by myself before that. Mm. I've been gigging since I've been about 15 yeah. on the Irish hip hop scene. And um, yeah, literally, we just put in work, did everything and everything. Uh, um, <laughs> Every open mic night I could think of, we got support slots off our own back. Um, I did support with Plan B before I was ever signed. Went and did, played in Jamaica, New York, Chicago, uh, Austin, Texas, and South West, South West, and that was all off our own back. Just the music. And just the music, you know, before we'd ever even had a whiff of getting signed, you know. Um, and then, so after a while, um, DJ Semtex, who's a, an a and Mercury, um, I, he'd heard me before a couple of years back um, and just kept, kind of uh, kept his ear open, I think, for me. Um, and he, I think, obviously just saw that the progression we were making um, and I was making musically and thought it was the right time to, to jump in and, and, and have a little war and um, got another a and called Jamie Nelson involved. Um, quite a big name at Mark Green, ended up signing the deal, you know, so just in the end, it was just always just how it graphed and pushing the music and just pushed it enough that someone someone noticed, you know, at Mark Green, it worked out well, got the deal signed, so it was alright. So the, the 
let's talk about the single Let Me Go. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell me when you made it, you know, because usually people say, okay, tell me about the song, but tell yeah. me actually the actual creation process of the actual track. So, you know about that. Well, uh, sorry, I've got mad. After drinking fizzy drinks, I should drink. <laughs> um, I made it with a producer called Matt Prime, um, and basically there was a top. The song I don't want to give the topic of the song away too much because I want people to to take it and interpret it in their own way. But the topic is about a certain inner demon of mine and a certain uh, yeah, a certain thing that I like that that always leads me down bad paths. All right. Um, and has caused a lot of issues with me. Um, so basically, it's focusing on let me go. It's focusing on the inner demons. And everybody, everyone's got inner demons. You know what I mean? Whether it be drink, drugs, sex, money, everyone's got something. You know, they can focus on. You know, um, and it was just me expressing that. You know, and, and almost like talking to the, the inner demon and saying, look, you need to let me go. Like I say, I can still taste you on my lips. Like I, I can still feel you, I, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Um, and I wanted to do that in a way where I wasn't specifically going bang, 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 this is what it is, this is what it is, this is my story. I wanted to just give my general opinion of it, for me, so that anyone else could take from it and interpret, you could interpret in your own way, you could interpret in your own way, you know? Um, yeah, and that, that's basically... It's like, it's like therapy for you then. So. Yeah, it was. It was like therapy for me, do you know what I mean? And since then, like, I've dealt with that issue, you know? So it is it is like therapy for me, in a way. Um, all my my music's, music's like therapy for me, and it is therapy for me. It is my therapy, do you know what I mean? I'd be crazy. I, honestly, I'd probably, I probably would go off the head if I didn't have music. Um, so that, that, that was uh, the, the, the let me go is, is, um, is my one thought and one expression of, of, how, of dealing with an inner demon. Um, so I wanted to, to, to put a song out there that would allow people to interpret it in their own way and attach it to their own inner demons and their own their own their own um, thoughts, you know, and their own feelings about that subject. That's very that's very profound. So for you now, what's your what's your process for making music? Is it because you also play instruments, right? Yeah, so yeah. Is it like you start with the instruments, or you could be right, or I mean, how do you actually go about creating music? Um, it's not a set way to be honest. Like so, certain times. Because I, 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 I play the guitar, obviously, um, but I'm also, because I come from a hip-hop background, I love when people send me beats, do you know what I mean? And I love piano, I love piano-based beats, I love just, so I can play, I can have a little tinkle at the piano a bit, do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so it, it, it can come from anywhere, you know? It can come from you saying a, a sentence to me today, that I think, yeah, that'd be a great lyric, and it might spark off an idea. It might be someone I meet walking down the street on the bus that tells me a story. And I think I need to write a song about that, you know. Um, so it all comes from different from different things. It all could be a riff I play on the guitar, um, and then that will spark off something, you know. It's not a definite way where I start with the lyric or I start with the the, the, the melody, or you know, it can come from so many different areas. Um, but generally, when I write by myself, I like to be alone and in darkness, not pitch black, but near enough to it so I can focus on it you know and and don't see anyone I don't want to talk to anyone don't want to answer my phone I literally want the melody to play over and over again so it gets it drills it into my head and it becomes the room like it becomes the air it becomes the emotion in the room so all I can think about is that and that's when I've properly get all my emotions out and express it properly. So I've got no one else going, no, I worry about this. Or I've got no one else ringing me up going, yeah, come out for a drink. No, none of that. Mm-hmm. I want the room to become the melody and the whole air of the room, my whole mind to become that song, you know, and to get to get everything out. So I, I don't I don't leave that room that day or that song without expressing myself fully, you know.